Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today I have a haul video. Oh my God. It has been a while since I've done a haul. Well, has it? I think I did. Maybe I did one in November or October. So it's kind of been a while considering that I used to do hauls almost every month. Like I've really cut back. And I say that while looking in front of me and seeing how many products I have to share with you guys. So really, who are we fooling here? Not me, <laughs> you know, and I definitely can't fool you guys. But here's the thing, all right? I put myself on a limited buy at the end of last year where I only picked up seven to 10 products, which I actually stuck to. However, January was my birthday month and I said, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself and quite a few things debuted that I wanted to get and I went ahead and grabbed them. And some of these may be older, but I want to share them with you guys so I can show you up close swatches in case you were curious. Because, yeah, this is a huge collective haul. So if you want to see the things that I picked up a couple of months ago, as well as recently, then stay tuned and let's jump right into all the makeup I bought for my birthday. All right, let's get into it. So I was going to break this up by type of product, and I might still do that, but I also wanted to get some of the older products out of the way because I did swatches I want to show you guys, and I still think they're amazing, and I have them in my collection, so if you wanted to see them in future videos, just let me know because this year I am focused on using my makeup. So even if they're older products, they're still beautiful and I want to use them and not just focus on the newest, shiniest thing to my collection. So with that being said, I have to show you guys the Black Panther highlighters from MAC. So Black Panther Wakanda Forever, right? Came out last year, was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. It was a long ass movie. Did you guys watch it? Oh my God, it was so long. And I know everybody's giving it Raven reviews. I didn't like it that much. And I think that owes to it being so damn long, but I did go ahead and pick up the highlighter. So there were two shades available. I don't know if you can still get these, but I went ahead and picked up both shades. So we have Royal Challenge, which is the lighter shade and Royal Vibrancy, which is deeper. Listen, these are fantastic. So these are Extra Dimension Skin Finishes, which is the Baked Gelée formula from MAC. It's a beautiful formulation that's baked, so it's airy, it's lightweight, it has fine pigments, so it doesn't just sit on your skin, it kind of melts in and becomes one. So stunning, no chunky glitter particles, nothing. So if you're into a subtle highlighter, this might be right up your alley. The Royal Challenge shade is a lighter, almost champagne rose gold. It's really stunning, but again, because it's a lightweight baked formula, it's not really harsh on the skin. It just gives this beautiful glow, and I love the skin finishes from MAC, and I'm so happy I picked these up. The darker shade, which is Royal Vibrancy, is more of a coppery shade, but it also has a rosy quality to it that it's so pretty on the skin. I absolutely love it. And I'm not a big fan of highlighters, if I'm honest. I haven't worn highlighters in a while. And I also stopped buying them for a while, but I picked these up for the culture, okay? And they are stunning. I really love them. And I think I'll pull them out more and get more use out of them because they are that formula that I love. I say all that and I still went ahead and picked up a couple more highlighters. So this one is also from MAC. It's from the Whitney Houston collection. And I'm not gonna get into a debate about posthumous collections where people are still trying to profit off celebrities that have passed on. That's not what we're gonna get into, but I did pick this up because I saw it again in store and it was so pretty. Now, this is just another golden, like, champagne-y highlighter. It's very similar to the Royal Challenge skin finish from the Black Panther collection. They look very, very similar, if I'm being honest but it's so pretty. Again, it's like a champagne -y hue with a little bit of a rosy undertone. 
This one I didn't swatch up close and personal, so I'll show it to you now. This is what it looks like. You see how subtle it is on my skin tone? I think this is so beautiful. You can just see a glow. It isn't harsh. There's no glitter particles. I think this is beautiful. There's very fine micro shimmer to it, but it's not like chunky shimmer or glitter, so I still like the formulation, but it's gonna give you a little bit more sheen to the skin, and I really vibe with that. Another highlighter that I picked up from Holiday last year is from Valentino Beauty. This is one of their Eye to Cheek. It's the Star Studs Edition, and this is a dual-use blush eyeshadow. However, this is not going to be a blush on me. It's definitely a highlighter, which is why I'm lumping it in with highlighters. It is a very beautiful, icy, peachy pink. This might work as a blush on a very, very light skin tone. But for me, it's a peachy champagne blush. And again, it has more sparkle to it. It's a little bit more shimmery, but it's not glittery. And this is stunning. This has more of a peachy gold highlight to it. And I love it. This is so stunning. And I love the eye to cheek formula. So I wanted to go ahead and grab a shade that could work as a highlighter for me. So love that. And I think, no, no, no. I do have one more thing from Holiday. And this is one that I didn't think I was going to get. I hemmed and hawed over this palette so much. I was like, should I get it? Should I not? I swatched it in store. I went back and forth so many times. And then it went on a steep discount. I think I got it for 40% off. Plus, I think I got cash back through one of those cash back services. So I ended up kind of getting this for 50% off which was a steal. So I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and grab it. And I am glad I did because this is different for Pat McGrath. It's a colorful palette, first of all, and it has a bunch of mattes in it, which she never does. So it's colorful and has mattes, which is right up my alley. So it's like this palette was kind of made for me because she never does that. She probably has one or two mattes in her palettes. And this one, over half the shades are matte. So I'm like, is this for me, Auntie Pat? Thank you so much. So I thought it was, it made sense for me to get it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And I do like the palette, I just haven't used it yet. I know, this is the year of using my stuff, which is what I said. So I know quite a few of you guys picked this up. Let me know if you still want to see looks with it because... I think it's a cute palette. The mattes perform beautifully. The shimmers aren't chunky or flaky, which again, is right up my alley. So I'm like, you know what? I think this was a palette that was made for me, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and I am happy that I did. And I also picked up quite a few other palettes, so I'll just jump into them right now since we covered all the old purchases. So another palette that I had picked up when it launched is the Coffee Shop palette from Juvia's Place. This was one of the first purchases I made in January. So this is a neutral palette. I already did a Get Ready With Me video showcasing this palette. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like my perfect neutral shade. If I was going to make a neutral palette, this would be it. This isn't a warm or cool tone palette. It's very neutral, but it has some warmer shades that aren't orange, which is kind of unheard of these days. Most palettes lean very orange, but this palette embraced some warmth without leaning too far orange. We have some caramelly shades, and then we have some neutral tones, which I adore. The shimmers, again, we didn't get too many champagnes. We got a lot of taupes, nothing too coppery. We have a couple of bronzes. It's just so perfect. I absolutely love it. And all these shades work beautifully for my complexion. So it's like my go-to neutral palette. And I am so, so, so in love with it. So I'm happy that I picked this up. Another palette that I bit the bullet and got, okay, all right, listen, okay, you're gonna need to cut me some slack on this one because this is one that I bashed last year. I was like, I'm not gonna get that, get out of here. But I did go ahead and grab it. So this is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. It has beautiful neutral shades again. I don't know what it is, if it's just getting older or getting lazier, but I love a neutral palette. And I think this palette is beautiful. And when I swatched it in store, I did like it, but I don't like that there are pretty much three cream shades in here. The two deeper shades, this black and this like dark cranberry or like red brown are cream shadows and I hate that for me. 
and then this marbly shade which she always tries to put some special shade in her palette this one has like a creamy center like a glossy center and then the edges are eyeshadow like powder shadow and then you swirl them together to create a little concoction I don't love that but it swatches pretty nicely it's fine you know but the other shades are beautiful I also didn't like the gold so now that I'm telling you all about that did I make the right choice to pick this up I don't know but we're gonna use it you know we're gonna have fun I'm going to try to lean into the goals to see if I can figure out a way to fall in love with gold we'll see I saw someone do a look with a gold eyeshadow and it looked so good on them that I was like maybe I should try it too but the formulation of the mattes in this it's stunning and the other shades aren't too flaky so I'll get into it you know I'm still happy I picked it up I'm just not necessarily over the moon happy now I'm even rethinking it but it's already been done it's in my collection suck it up buttercup let's go another palette that I picked up is from Tarte this is a recent purchase this is the sweet Tarte Cravens palette from the sugar rush line for Tarte so this is like an offshoot brand that's under the same umbrella it's like a brand that they created to appeal to the younger generation so it's light it's more flirty it's more youthful they are more playful with their packaging and their color stories and this is no different it is a beautiful little nine pan palette with chocolate shaped eyeshadows and these are so cute they are so cute this palette I already used it in a get ready with me video I think yeah I think I used it in a get ready with me video and I loved it it's so well put together another beautiful neutral palette and this works on deeper richer skin tones because the majority of the shades are mid-tone to deeper with just two lighter shades which I appreciate and I think even lighter skin tones can appreciate this palette as well I am very happy with the formulation I thought this applied well blended well and again because it's appealing to like a younger demographic the price point is also lower than other Tarte palettes so I'm happy to have this one in my collection really excited to try it out I also picked up some indie brand eyeshadow palettes that I am also excited about these first ones kind of threw me off I'm not sure if I'm in love with them as much as I expected to be so these are from menagerie cosmetics these are their claws and paws palettes so cute right so menagerie cosmetics they have a animal theme to the majority of their palettes and I believe there may also be a charity aspect to their palettes but these are based on claws for kitties and paws for puppies really cute I always love their artwork so the first one we have here is the claws palette which you can see is pink this is not me okay this is not my vibe at all but I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna get into it it's fine and what I like about menagerie cosmetics their palettes are magnetized so where's my little magnet thing you can pop out the shades out the palette you can use a magnet like so and grab them out the palette and rearrange as needed so I'm gonna still get use out of this palette and I can rearrange it if I want to pop a couple of the shades out but not my favorite color story because of those pinks but there's a beautiful gray and this beautiful green that I can definitely get into and then there's like a couple of dual chrome shades that are pretty but this is not my color story and I really only got it because I got them as a duo the pause palette which is for the puppies is more up my alley this has greens and blues and a little bit of a yellow orange pop which is so stunning Oh my god these are definitely like right up my alley they're beautiful and I love that the yellow is more like a sour apple yellow it's really pretty again I can pop these out and swap them around as I feel and make my own color story and I'm happy to have this collection even though I feel like these didn't speak to me as intensely as I was hoping it's not my favorite color story from menagerie but I always love picking up their palettes so 
I'm happy to have that one for sure. I also picked up two palettes from Lethal Cosmetics. So they launched these, I forget when they did, but they did like their own curated palettes. And I don't think I've actually picked up a curated palette from Lethal Cosmetics. I have tons of their singles and I have their collaboration palettes with Teresa Is Dead, but I've never purchased one of their palettes that they created. So I went ahead and grabbed these two. So this one, which one is this? Does it say? It doesn't even say. Okay, I looked it up. So this is the Evergreen and Metamorphosis palettes. So they are 12 pan eyeshadow palettes with again a curated color story really beautiful the evergreen one has some greens which these are rich deep greens and I'm so into them and then they have some multi chrome shimmers which I wanted to try out their multi chromes without committing too much I love my multi chromes from Cleona Cosmetics those are hands down my favorites so I don't veer into other multi chromes too much because I found the love of my life and I have all of them so I don't care about other multi-chromes. So this was a way to try multi-chromes from Lethal Cosmetics without having to buy them individually, just picking them up in a palette. And I think this color story is stunning. Now this I was surprised by because I fell in love with the color story. I didn't expect to love this. It's kind of like Menagerie Cosmetics and Lethal Swap because usually I'm so in love with the color stories from Menagerie and then I'm so so for Lethal but this time around lethal cosmetics this evergreen palette is so stunning and the shades are really intense they're not muted like their other palettes that i've tried from teresa is dead they're very muted like desaturated tones that don't really show up on me and when they do they show up a little bit ashy these are really pigmented and punchy which i love then the metamorphosis palette is a more warm tone cranberry palette but i still think this is a beautiful curation of colors not my personal favorite, but the colors again are more punchy and I'm interested to try this out. I think this is a vibe and like the Menagerie Cosmetics palettes, you can pop these shadows out as well. The only difference is with the Lethal Cosmetics palette, there are holes at the back that you can use like a pointed implement like a pin or a tweezer to pop them out rather than a magnet. So. I'm loving these so I'm happy to have these in my collection I don't think I'm going to go crazy on palettes for a while because I have a lot and I'm not done yet all right so I also picked up whoo child let me let me lean back I also picked up a eyeshadow palette from Il Maquillage so I have their foundation and concealer and I absolutely love them and I've tried their singles out before as well as another older palette that I have from them that I bought at a mall at Roosevelt Field back in New York and I love the formulation and I rediscovered it while I was decluttering my collection I didn't like the layout of that palette it was just it was too much but I've had that palette for years and when I swatched it the shades were still creamy and buttery and just they were delicious. They're like a cream to powder formula, similar to what Lisa Eldridge eyeshadows are trying to accomplish, but they do it so much better. So after that declutter, I was so impressed with the longevity of that formulation and how it held up over the years and just the texture that I went ahead and grabbed one of their palettes. So this is a neutral palette. It's the, let's see, Hundo P. Hundo P. That's so stupid. Oh my god. But it's an 8 pan eyeshadow palette. These are pricey, okay? But Lord God, look how many get out there now. Lord of mercy! But I was digging it with my fingernail. Don't you hate when that happens? But this is a neutral palette. It has a few of their mattes and then a few of their shimmery shades. This one, mm, I'm kind of disappointed by because I expected it to be a little bit more intense. But the shades are a little bit more subdued. They're a little bit more on the wearable side, which is not a bad thing, okay? It's a neutral palette, so it being more wearable is not a bad thing. But I don't know, I was expecting this to be like a richer palette, but it really isn't. But the shades, they're smooth, they're buildable, they're blendable, they're creamy, they're delicious. It's just this color story doesn't speak to me as much, especially compared against the other neutral palettes that I picked up during this haul that you're seeing right now. So it's like, 
I like it, but it's a step down from like the Juvia's Place neutral palette. I also picked up some singles from them, and I will say I absolutely love the packaging of these, all right? They come in these little boxes that open like that. Isn't that cute? That's so different, it's so unique, and the packaging of the singles is also pretty unique. They're heavy, they're sturdy, and they're pricey, okay? But you can get a discount code, you can try to see if you can get them at a better price. But these are large size eyeshadows, and these, I think, are stunning. I swatched them out for you guys so you can see all of them. But these are nice, like, beautiful single eyeshadows that you can pop on the lid, they're stunning. It's just a whole situation. And I'm in love with these. So if you want me to do a video where I just use these shadows, talk more about them, test out the formulation for you guys, let me know because I would love to play a little bit more and dabble into Il Maquillage eyeshadows. Because like I said, just seeing how long they lasted in my collection, considering that I've had them for years and they're still creamy, impressed me enough to go and pick up some more. All right, let's go on to the final palette, which is the newest purchase. This one is from Shroud Cosmetics. So this is their Moonfall palette, and it's a nine pan eyeshadow palette of glory. Like, look at these shades. I also love Shroud Cosmetics. Again, another palette that I discovered in my collection when I was going through my declutter, which is a great reason to do a declutter, is to familiarize yourself with your collection, get rid of products that are just collecting dust, and then revisit some of the products that you haven't touched that you just don't know why and you may discover some things that are really beautiful in your collection that you need to pay attention to like Shroud Cosmetics. So this is a nine pan eyeshadow palette that is kind of an expansion and a reformulation of their Moonfall eyeshadow bundle that they did. I think they did it last year maybe the year before, but people fell in love with that bundle. They just put together a selection of single eyeshadows that they personally liked. And then they were like, hey, people love that so much, let's do a palette. Let's add two more shades, make it a nine pan palette, and this is what they created. Now I had bought the singles and I'll show you them right now. So this is the previous selection of seven shades. Beautiful. When I saw them, I had to get them. And now for this palette, they've redone the shimmers, like I said. And I'll show you them up close next to each other, and I'll show you them swatched out as well. The mattes are still the same, so I have duplicate mattes, which is fine. I love mattes. These are deep mattes too. And this matte shade here reminds me of Velvet Moss from MAC, which I was so in love with. That was one of my favorite MAC eyeshadows. So I don't mind having the duplicates that way, but the shimmers are definitely different and they added two more. Two new shades they added are Rebirth, which is the matte deep navy matte, and Devotion, which is a super sparkly lavender with an intense gold to green and blue sparkling shift. So this is like a multi-chrome. It's really sparkly and beautiful. And then they reformulated, like I said, the shimmers. So Soul Stone, which is the beautiful pink at the bottom. This is now a more intense magenta base with a shimmery bronze gold shift. Artifact, which is this top beautiful shimmery green, is now a more intense gold and olive base with a gold to green to indigo shift. And Night Song, which is the blue, is a more intense blue base with a sparkly purpley shift. And I like both formulations, so it's almost like having a less shimmery version of an eyeshadow for when you're not feeling quite as bold, and then having the intense version available so you can amp it up if you want to. So I am really excited about those palettes. There's so many that I need to dig into, so I am putting a halt on buying eyeshadow palettes for a while. And I also have some new collaboration palettes from Odin's Eye. Should I pop them in right now? So this is the Perfect World collection and it includes three new collaboration palettes with influencers that I know and love. It's similar to the Diversa collection with me, Annette, and Judy. We did three palettes and they're doing that again with this collection. And this is a nature-based collection. So we have the Sea Talk palette from Lauren May Beauty. I love Lauren so much. And these will be available February 14th, so Valentine's Day. 
at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Each of them will retail for $33.90 and you can buy them in a bundle with all three for $91.95. Discount codes aren't applicable, but if you're going to pick anything else up from the site, you can use my discount code and that will give you a percentage off so you can save a little bit. Now, the first 1,000 customers will also get a free gift with purchase. So if you buy an individual palette, you will get one of their ribbons so instead of doing scarves this time around they're doing a ribbon similar to the one that they did with angelica nequis and i think these are so cute so they are based on the design of the that looks kind of weird on me but you know what i'm saying and if you buy the bundle you will get the scarf so the scarf has all three of the collaborators on it these are so cute so again this is for the first 1,000 buyers. So if you're not one of the first 1,000, then you won't get the scarf or the ribbon, but the palettes are really beautiful. So the Lauren May Beauty palette is the Sea Talk palette, so it has an ocean theme. And Lauren explained her palette that she was inspired by the colors of corals and the ocean floor, but she didn't want to make it a blue palette, right? And I'll link the videos from each of the creators down below so you can check them out. They're gonna, of course, explain their inspiration and their colors a lot better than I am. I'm just gonna show you swatches. So the Sea Talk palette has a neutral quad on one side, with a more blue themed quad on the other and then pops of color in the middle. So the pops are a pink, which is so Lauren. And then we have a lemony lime green, really beautiful color story. And I am so excited for these creators because Odin's Eye is such a great brand to work with. They're really professional, they're really organized and they give you freedom to create a beautiful color story while still giving you like guidance and a structure so it was really great working with them and i'm so excited for these new batch of creators so this one is from makeup just for fun and she created the flora story palette she does such beautiful swatches and flat lays on Instagram. I'll link her down below. So this is based around the flora of nature, so trees and so forth. And this is a more muted color story with greens and purples. There are no bright shades in this palette. They're definitely more subdued. And of course we have like a multi-chrome shade, some toppers, and I think this is a beautiful collection of shades. This would be perfect for someone that's more into neutrals but wants to step into color and likes a pop of green because these are more subtle colors, they're really stunning. And now we have the colorful baby of the collection which is from Betty Jean or Batty Bean. So this is the Planet Spirit palette. This one is the bold one of the bunch and it is very, very Betty Jean. She said she was inspired by colors of the sunset so you'll see those bright pops of orange and pink. So this is in your face intense. I don't know that everybody will be in love with this palette because it is so bold, but I think it's a beautiful accent to the three palettes. Like you have a bold, colorful one, a more muted version, and then like an in-between. And I think it's the same thing with the Diversa collection, right? Mine was the colorful palette, so I'm definitely vibing with the Betty Jean palette. And I can't wait to play with these palettes. So if you wanted to check them out, I will leave the links down below. Again, these launch on Valentine's Day, so it might be a time to treat yourself. All right, I have a couple of other single eyeshadows that I should mention. Again, these are ones that I wasn't gonna pick up, okay? But my birthday was coming along and I decided to treat myself, all right? So, don't judge me, all right? I picked up a few of the Pop Shot eyeshadows from Charlotte Tilbury, I know! So she launched these for holiday. They're expensive. They're like $32 a pop. I have a secret though, okay? I was able to get 20% off the website. I know, I know. So I got 20% off using somebody's code. If you use Microsoft Edge, they will auto populate discount codes on certain websites. So I'm like, I didn't know there was a 20% off, so I got 20% off. So I didn't pay full price for these, plus I use my reward style, so I also got like a kickback. So I am happy with the price that I paid for these. But 
I think I picked up how many shades? Let me check. Five shades. I know it's like overkill, but I was so excited about these. So I picked up Rose Gold, which is the first one that I tried out. They're tiny too. It's like not a lot of product. These contain 0.04 ounce, which is smaller than the 0.05 ounce of a small eyeshadow on the market. So you're not getting a ton of product. But the rose gold one was so stunning that I was like, all right, what else you got? So I also picked up Diamond Eyes, which is like a very sparkly champagne. Really stunning. I got Cosmic Rocks, which is the blue one, because you know I'm going to get the blue. This is the most exciting of them all. Most of them are neutral shades, and I had to get Smoky Quartz because it's smoky and it's taupey and it's sexy. I want to do a look with this shade specifically. Oh my god, it's so fun. And then one of the newer shades is Sunlit Diamond. Yeah, this is a new shade that I picked up. It's more of a coppery gold. It's really stunning as well. So yeah, I did treat myself to a few shades from Charlotte Tilbury and I regret nothing, okay? All right, I think we're all done with eyeshadows. Yes, so let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the products. I'm hoping I can go through these a little bit more quickly. So let's let's just jump right in. So I did pick up a few foundations. Some of them I'm doing reviews for, like the Makeup by Mario foundation. I did a review, so I will link it down below. But there are a couple more foundations in the mix that will have reviews for them, like the NYX Cosmetics Blur Foundation. That will have a review, and there's a little sneaky one in there that's a luxury one that I won't mention here. You'll just have to wait and see. But I won't be doing like a full review for this one. This is from Juvia's Place. It's the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I did use this in a Get Ready With Me video though, so you can check that out to see how it applied. And it's what I'm wearing right now. Now, in that Get Ready With Me video, I picked up a different shade. It was a deeper, richer shade, and it just didn't match me well. So I went ahead and picked up another shade because I wanted a shade that matched me because I like this foundation that much. So I went ahead and picked up Kampala, which is number 340 in the foundation, the liquid foundation. And this is a... Mm, let me grab it a much better shade match it looks lighter in the tube but on me this is what i'm wearing right now it is so look at this pimple that's trying to betray my life oh my god but this color is so much better it matches me almost spot on it's perfect the foundation looks beautiful i've been wearing this foundation now for hours i just blotted once when i was coming on to film again but it's holding on and it looks so good even though it says radiant it really isn't radiant. It just looks healthy. It's not glowy or dewy like the Makeup by Mario foundation, which, spoiler alert, I hate it. But this just, it looks good. And it's a foundation that is kind of borderline drugstore. It's a little bit higher priced than I'd expected. It's like 20 something dollars, which I was like, hold up, what? But it's good, guys. It is good. And it actually contains 40 milliliters. So you get more product than the typical one ounce 30 milliliter size. So it almost balances out with the amount of product versus the price. But I love this foundation. I will warn you though, it is highly fragranced, okay? It smells strongly of cherries. It has kind of faded away on my skin now. It does fade, but it takes a while to fade. I'm gonna be quite straight up with you guys because I know not a lot of people like fragrance in their complexion products. And this smells like, does it smell like cherry chapstick? It kind of does. It smells like an artificial cherry, but it's intense. It reminds me of Huda Beauty and her initial foundation that was just overly fragranced. There's no need for this foundation to smell like that, but I like how it looks so much that I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get a good shade because it looks good, guys. It looks good. So I am impressed with it. And they also have the powder foundation. So this is the I Am Magic powder foundation. I also picked up a different shade of this. So I grabbed Cameroon, which is tan four. This is lighter. And with powder foundations, I tend to want to go lighter because once you apply them to the skin, they deepen up a little bit, so going lighter is better, you know what I mean? 
and this foundation powder is really nice as well so I like this and this isn't fragranced so why'd you have to put that strong maybe you know what they're offsetting it they're like we ain't got no fragrance in this one so we're gonna put the fragrance in the liquid foundation and fragrance they did but it's such a good foundation I am so happy that I got it and like I said I have other foundation videos that will be coming up soon sticking to complexion I did go ahead and treat myself to the Dior primer so this is the Dior Forever Velvet Veil Long Wear Comfort Matte Primer. What? 24 hour blurring matte primer, okay? This is so good, okay? I really like this primer. I expected it to be like a silicone primer, but it's not. It's like a lotion-y primer. It goes on really well and it helps with the longevity of your complexion products. And it feels really good on your skin so I like to use primers kind of like my moisturizer or like my skincare step right instead of doing both I do one or the other so I like that this feels comfortable on the skin it doesn't dry out my skin it feels really good it isn't too slippy it isn't too mattifying where it feels like my skin is dry it just feels comfortable and it helps with the blendability of my foundation and also like the wear like how long it wears so I am happy with this primer it's a treat because Sephora gave me some rewards dollars and I was like listen okay so I ended up using my Sephora reward points from my credit card so they give you like reward dollars and then my Ulta reward points which hello Dior is now at Ulta so if I need Dior which I buy a lot of Dior I'm getting it at Ulta all right because their rewards program is so much better and you're able to build up points so quickly at Ulta so I am so happy that they're getting other brands because listen Sephora mm -mm, you don't give me enough even though they did give me like a good chunk of money this time around I also picked up the new concealer from Herbs Herbs, listen, Urban Decay released this new Quickie Concealer from the Stay Naked line. I picked up two shades, all right? I picked up 70NN and 60NN, and they are kind of vastly different. 60NN is really light, and then 70NN is my perfect match. I used this in a Get Ready With Me video as well, and this is really good. I really like this concealer, and it's like huge. It's like half, is it? It's like half the size of a found, yes it is. It's half the size of a foundation and I actually like that. You know why? Sometimes I am getting ready, right? I don't want to do too much. I'm like, can't be bothered, but I want to conceal my under eyes because who dark circles child. So I want to go in with a concealer, but I can't be bothered with the foundation and blah, blah, blah. So having a concealer in this size that I can kind of use all over the face is perfect. And I have a highlighting shade if I want to brighten up and a regular shade. I am loving this. This formulation is so good and this packaging has a little brush applicator on the end that you can wash, okay? You can clean this. You can wash it just like you should be washing your regular makeup brushes. Originally, I was like, why they put that stupid little brush on? And I've used it and it's actually a cute little brush, okay? And it makes application really easy. You can blend out certain edges like, look at this, right? It's a handy little brush, I'm not gonna hold you. So I love this concealer. I might do another like video using that concealer some more because I think it's a good one, guys. Oh my God. All right, let's try to wrap up really quickly because I don't think I have that much. Yeah, I probably still do, but I don't think I have that, that much. Should we talk about blushes? I think we should because again, I was bashing this brand, I was talking mess. But I did go ahead and pick up two of the blushes from Too Faced. These are the Cloud Crush Blurring Blushes. I have the shade Tequila Sunset. And which one is this? Watermelon Rain. These are really cute, guys. I swatched them in store and that's why I picked them up. So we have punchy colors, but they don't go on and blend out as punchy as they look. So don't be afraid, right? You can blend them out. The Tequila Sunset one I expected to be a little bit more intense but it really is not that bold. What I like about these blushes, guys, is that they stay on, like the wear on my oily skin, yes, and they show up. Like I don't need to put too much on and they're on, okay? And like I said, wear time on my oily skin, it's there and that's what I find 
that I need from blushes. Do they have a scent? This kind of smell nice. They smell a little bit fun, like nothing overwhelming or perfumey and Too Faced usually adds a fragrance, but I can't tell what that fragrance is. It just smells good. Okay, what I was saying. Usually blushes fade off my skin really quickly, but these blushes have punch and longevity to them. And I really appreciate that because I don't want my blush to just disappear after an hour of wear. Like, that makes no sense. There's some blushes that I'll apply during a Get Ready With Me video. And then by the end of the video, which is like 45 minutes to an hour later, they're gone. And I didn't find that with these blushes. So I am happy to have picked them up. And there's some other blushes that I'm trying out from a brand that I'm going to do a full brand review on that I'm so in love with, Chef's Kiss. They are amazing. Oh, speaking of, so I just did a full brand review for a black owned brand that is new to Sephora. It's not new to the scene, but new to Sephora. This is Amicole. And oh my God, I fell in love. Okay, I fell in love with their skin tint. It's fantastic. It is so amazing. And their concealer, whoo, it was so great. Their powders, don't even get me started. I'm dropping things, but their powders are so great. Their lip oils, oh my God. So check out that video. I implore you. Not a lot of people are watching that video and I need you guys to go check it out because the products, when I tell you they're fantastic, they're fantastic. So I used a lighter shade than I would have liked in that video for the concealer. This is medium 1.5. It was just too light, but I was so in love with the texture of it that I went ahead and picked up medium one. So the deeper shades are lower numbers. So medium 1.5 is lighter than medium one, you know, you get it. So medium one, I said I would show you guys this one once I picked it up. This one has more of a neutral undertone and it's going to be perfect for my complexion. I love this formula so much guys. I can't wait to see what else comes out from this brand. So this is 1.5, the lighter shade that I had used and then this is the medium one. Do you see how perfect that shade is? And then the 1.5, I can still use this to brighten, but like that's my perfect shade. And that's what was so impressive with the skin tint from this brand, it just melted into my skin like skin, foundation no we are one so i love love these products so much so i had to pick up the deeper shade of the concealer all right what else do we have oh we have the nars powder okay keeping with the complexion where is the box me don't know where the box there now but you have to see the box in other insert so this is the new nars soft matte advanced perfecting powder i got the shade high tide this is such a good powder. I think it's what I, yeah, it's what I used today. So instead of using the Juvia's powder with the Juvia's Place foundation, I used the NARS powder. This is so good, okay? I wanted to try this out because, I don't know, it's my birthday, I do what I want. So this is, again, a new launch from NARS. I didn't have high expectations, if I'm honest, because NARS powders can be a little bit dry. This one is so silky. It's so cre- I'm not even gonna swatch it because it's not a ton of product in here. It's 0.31 ounce. Listen, not a lot, okay? But let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. So smooth. So silky. Like, oh, it mattifies. It looks beautiful, but it's not like a dry matte. It's just a stunning matte finish on the skin. Don't play with me. It's pretty. Oh my god. I am so happy with all these complexion products that I picked up. I can't believe my luck. Normally, there are products that I absolutely hate. Like, I'm like, why did I buy that? And some of the eyeshadow palettes may be like that, but none of the complexion products. Every single last one that I picked up, except for the Makeup by Mario one, which I already returned. Don't play with me. I will return with a swiftness. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm playing with you? I take advantage of a return policy, okay? And more you need to do that and stop talking about, I don't return products, I feel bad. So you gonna keep the product instead, let them corporations get your money, but you sitting here not using the product because you hate it. Oh, I can give it to a friend. You know what else you can do? You can give it back to your bank account, that's what you could do. So, me, 
a missed return and I learned that from my ex-husband okay he was like what returns yes let's go and he listen I got so comfortable returning products after being with him listen I will give him his props because he would buy clothes bring them home try them on like try them with different things in his closet and then decide whether or not he's gonna keep them and I'm keeping the same energy with makeup if I don't like it if it don't work and I'm not talking about a product that I simply oh it just oh maybe I don't love it you know but I like it enough I'll keep that but if it's something that I despise with all my breath then I'm getting rid of it so makeup by Mario has to go and that was 40 what like 44 dollars per it's our 42 it was expensive it never cheap some of us are turn it anyway I'm gonna carry on so what else do I have oh lips lips so I picked up these about face lip products these are the lip color butters I tried one out and I decided to go ahead and pick up four shades so I tried out kiwi fuzz first these are similar to the Tarte what are they called those clicky things you know those click things right they're similar to the ones from Tarte and Tarte also expanded their range now they have like a cream formula that is not a clicky okay and these also remind me of the makeup by Mario lip serum so a lot of companies are coming out with these creamy balm type products that are melty and shiny and about face let me tell you this is freaking cute this is so good so I have like I said what am I saying this is kiwi fuzz which is the first one I tried then I picked up which one is this peach punisher which is like a light this is gonna be so good for the spring and summer it's like a light peachy shade and these are like melty bombs that are almost glossy but they're like a lip butter at the same time so really great and then watermelon take is like a punchy watermelon shade again great for the summer and then we have the cranberries which is a deeper richer shade it's not cranberry though it's like a deep rich brown I am so in love these are so good and they have this beautiful fruity scent to them I don't know if individually they have no they're the same scent they smell like a guava a guava fragrance is that what they have in here do they tell you no them not telling you no but they do say you know twist wisely because once you click it it ain't going back down that's why I said Tarte did like a different formulation that has a twist up rather than a clicker does this say the fragrance let me look at these ingredients really quick shea butter jojoba seed oil sweet cherry seed oil maybe that's the fragrance the sweet cherry because I don't see an actual fragrance in here mm-hmm I think that's the sweet cherry oh pomegranate I definitely smell the pomegranate that's probably what it is it smells like guava pomegranate mm-hmm loving it these are also cruelty free made in korea sweet these are nice these are nice why does it say date me on this but the shade says the cranberries that don't even make no sense do i have another shade apparently i do so i do have date me which is a deep deep dark brown okay my bad so i have five shades not just four all right are we almost done i'm almost done so i also picked up four shades of the hourglass new lipsticks these are the unlocked unlocked <laughs> Whew, getting tired child these are the unlocked satin cream lipsticks and i wasn't gonna pick these up but i said you know what i want to try them out they look juicy and creamy and they weren't as expensive as I initially thought and more and more companies are coming out with these glossy lip colors now that we are not wearing masks as much I'm still wearing my mask some places child I'm like mm, y'all looking a little germy I don't like y'all and, and COVID is still out here child I'm vaxxed and waxed and all these things but due to oh my dog I'm sick listen I got COVID once and I know exactly who I got it from and how I got it you see how you just can't be out here all right but they actually went to Jamaica and they weren't wearing their mask at all and then came back and gave me goddamn COVID. I am so upset, child. But yeah, the Hourglass, right? <laughs> the Hourglass lipsticks. I picked up four shades. I don't even know where they at, child. I picked up the red one. 
which is called Red Zero. And this uses a red pigment that is supposed to replace carmine. So this is vegan and cruelty free. I know a lot of people hate seeing carmine in products. I don't, I don't have a horse in that race, child. Crush them bugs, okay? Crush them up, juice them out. I'ma wear some bug juice on my lips, okay? I don't mind. But this red is very muted. It's almost ugly. <laughs> so I don't know how they thought this was a good substitute and they worked hard on this child they did but it's like a dirty red i don't like it it's not giving me what i want so i'll probably get rid of that one we'll probably return it like i said if you want me to do a swatch video i can do that really quickly for you i also picked up this new lip pencil from huda beauty which was a random purchase I recently did a video. It's not well viewed, so if you want to check it out, check it out. But it was inspired by JT from the City Girls. She wore this lip to a fashion show in Paris. And I was like, oh my god, that's so great. I want to try it out. And her makeup artist showed how she created the lip. And this was the lip pencil she used. And I was like, I want to get that color because it looks so good. It's a deep brown lip liner. So it's the Lip Contour 2.0 in Rich Brown. And it's what I'm wearing right now. And tell me that this isn't the perfect dark brown lip liner for me. For this beautiful ombre lip, like stop! It's so good. So I am happy to have this and it was just such a random purchase but glad to have it. I also picked up like a really random purchase at Walgreens. I forget what I was going in there for but you know we have to check out the makeup section. So I saw these Impress lashes from Kiss. So Impress is a line under the Kiss umbrella that has stick-on nails. So they're not exactly glue-on nails. They have little stickers on their false nails so you can just press them on without having to use the glue. They also have glue but you just press those on. So now they have press-on falsies and I was like, what is that? So these are like pre-bonded. You can just pop them on your lashes without having to use glue. And they're in little clusters. These are so cute, guys. And I use them today. They come with an applicator. They're expensive, right? They're like $15. You can probably get a discount. But you just pop these on your lashes. And I use them today. Weird, I know. But I use them today. I just popped on two on my outer lashes. And they're so comfortable because it's not like a full strip lash. They feel kind of like individuals. And I really like them. Like you can't even tell. Is this what Michaela used in her video? Oh my god. But these are so simple and easy to use. Uh, look. Listen, okay. I really like these. I may do a video showcasing how I apply these because... I think these are fetch. These are I'm making fetch happen. Listen, okay? Really like these. So I am happy about these new lashes. And it was like a spur of the moment purchase. I figured I could also show you these lip vaults that I got from Kaleidos. They sent these to me in PR and I never actually spoke about them. So they did new lip sets of their liquid lipstick. These are the Cloud Lab Lip Clays. These are stunning. So they have a nude collection. I will swatch it out. These are four different shades of nude. And I love this formulation because it's like a whipped formula that's very lightweight on the lips and very comfortable. And we're wearing more lip products now, so I am happy to see these. They also have a richer collection with deeper shades, vampy shades, and like a bright punch. These are also very, very pretty. If it's still worthwhile for me showing you lip swatches, let me know. But I think, like, that's far gone by now. You've already seen these. But I'll show you the swatches on my arm in case you were curious. These are really nice. Again, I really love the lip clouds from Kaleidos. I also got some products from Becca. I know! So Becca is out of business, alright? We all know that. But Smashbox, which is under the umbrella for the parent company of Becca, okay? they kind of absorbed some of the stellar and star products from Becca. So they have some of their signature highlighters as well as their under eye brightening corrector. So these were products that people really fell in love with from Becca and they wanted to keep them around. They also sent me the Smashbox Halo Plumpin' Dew Plus Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Moisturizer. Now this one I'm not too sure about because illuminating and me 
not gonna work out child and in addition we have the smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer this has spf 35 i'm gonna try this out it's very very glowy though so i don't know how i feel about this product it's just reading glow and dew and I'm not sure I'm ready for all of that but I wanted to mention them here that I did get those products from Smashbox and Becca kind of like the mix of Becca that went out of business but they're still under the Smashbox umbrella so you can check them out in case you were curious and you were missing your under eye corrector then definitely check them out and if you wanted a glowy moisturizer and a tinted product there you go I wanted to show you guys the swatches because I appreciate them sending them my way and then I will wrap up with a couple more products that I picked up from Tarte so during my purchase from Tarte I picked up a couple more products because I had somehow gotten a gift card from not a gift card but I had points so did you know that Tarte also has a reward system so if you order from their website you can collect points if you sign up for like their program you just sign in like regular and I had points so I ended up getting the palette this foundation stick which is a poreless foundation skin treat um, foundation stick this is from the Sugar Rush line. Again, it's like the cheaper version of Tarte. This is in tan deep. Now, so let me try it out, okay? And it's cute, it's cute. I didn't know what to expect, but I picked it up because it was free for me. So I picked this up as well as a powder foundation. So this is the Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. I got 42 N Tan Neutral. Again, it was free so it's for me so I didn't know what else to get there wasn't really anything else that I wanted to pick up I didn't want another palette but I know that I'll use a powder so I grabbed it and it's a cute little powder it's a cute little mattifying powder I'm gonna use her I am happy to have it so thank you so much oh wait I have a couple more things here let me just run through them Victoria Beckham Beauty I picked up the new shade of the Satin Kajal Liner. This one is in the shade Surfside, which is a tealy shade. I love the Victoria Beckham eyeliners, so I wanted to grab the new shade. So that's what I did. And then I'll wrap up with this special edition brush that I got from Sonia G. It's so cute. This is the Sonia G. I don't even know what the brush is, but it's cute and it came in a little stand. This was special for holidays, so I went ahead and grabbed that. If you know me, then you know I love a Sonia G brush. I don't think I'm gonna pick up any more brushes from her line unless she comes out with something like really different. Her Fusion Series brushes, the face brushes and the eye brushes are my favorites and I have multiple sets of those so I think I'm set when it comes to brushes. I've always been set, let's be honest, but I did go ahead and pick up uh, that brush so I am in love with that and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, this massive haul with holiday products as well as my birthday purchases that ended up not costing me as much because I got a lot of things on discount plus I was able to use uh, reward points from Tarte, Ulta, and Sephora. So I was like cha-ching, cha-ching, give me more and I picked up everything, okay? I grabbed so many products and I can't wait to incorporate these in more videos, upcoming videos, get ready with me's. Let me know what you guys want to see. I just showed you everything that I recently picked up so you can't ask me what I have, okay? Use this video as reference to see the new products that I picked up and tell me which ones you want to see in upcoming videos. Like I said, they're upcoming foundation reviews so you're gonna see some coming up. And we're just gonna have fun with makeup this year, guys. We're just gonna play in makeup, have fun, and I am kind of pulling back on purchases after this huge haul. So I won't be picking up like a ton of new products coming up unless something really catches my eye. So I will list as many of the products down below as I possibly can fit in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up. If there is an asterisk next to any of those links, that means that it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through that link. It gives me a small kickback 
but it doesn't change the price of the product. It's just your way of thanking me for putting you on. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no must, no fuss. I'm still happy you're here watching. And I now have channel memberships, which is going to work like a tip jar for my channel. So if you like my content and you want to give me a tip, go ahead and join the Fancy Fam. And you can also leave me a super thanks, which is another way to show your support for the channel. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And I'm going to show you what a mess my desk is right now. I'm about to clean up and pack all of this up, but it is a mess. All right. So I will leave you guys to it until my next video, which will be very soon. I'll talk to you. Bye guys.